Hi, I'm Mohan. I'm one of the product experts at Credily. Before we start the webinar, I request all of you to download our mobile app from the Play Store. Just search for Credily. Uh, this is the app. So please install this application. And in today's webinar, we are going to learn how employees can use Credily's mobile app and simplify their daily challenges at work. As we all know, Credily is India's first digital workplace. Um, one app for quite a few productive purposes. Now, the five primary things uh, that an employee uh, uh, has to use Credily for are reach, uh, this is to communicate and to send reports or documents, greet to collaborate and do video conferencing, attendance uh, to log your attendance, leave uh, to track your leaves, and payroll to download your pay slips and to do investment declarations. Now let us learn how to digitally collaborate and conference using Greet. Here you can host a meeting or join a meeting through your Greet's dashboard. On your dashboard, you will see a list of all the meetings that you're a part of. Now let me show you how to host a meeting. Just click on the start meeting option. Give a name to your meeting. Add people. You can also add outsiders by just entering their email IDs. Uh, you can also share the link and the pin externally, maybe through WhatsApp or through Reach or through Slack. And once meeting is started, you can even present your screen, demonstrate your work strategies and discuss reports. Of course, uh, you can use Greet for video conferencing as well. You can have video calls, uh, high definition video calls. And if you don't want to have a video call, you can also have a normal audio call. You can just disable the video and that becomes your audio call. Uh, Credily also allows you to communicate through messages. Reach is a messaging and document sharing feature of Credily. This is very similar to um, your Slack or WhatsApp. Here you can directly send messages to your colleagues um, or you can create a uh, or channels you can create public channels or private channels to chat with your team or with your department reach has a default channel for the department that you're in uh, you can chat with everyone in your department uh, through this channel also you have a general uh, channel where all employees of your organization will be a part of you can post or announce things in this channel um, you know if you have to say something to the entire organization you can use this channel uh, birthdays and anniversaries will also be posted in this channel by credily so um, just make sure that you visit this channel every day so that you get updates about what's happening in your organization now let's see how employees can upload their documents using credily so this is very important uh, for any employee to complete uh, his or her profile uh, for that we must navigate to my profile here you can add your address and your alternative phone number. Uh, you can see a uh, pre-filled information also here, which is actually added by your HR admin. The next uh, sub tab is your work. You can't edit anything over here. You can only see your work related uh, information. And under team tab, you can check who your reporting manager is and who you're reporting to and all those details regarding your team. In education tab, you can add the details of your qualification courses that you have done. And then you can also add your family members and whether or not they are your dependents. Also, emergency contact number can be added here. This, this becomes the vital data, so please do add an emergency contact here. Documents tab uh, gives you an option to upload your onboarding documents like uh, PAN card, Aadhaar, Passport, um, you have a list of documents that you can upload. Let me upload a couple of my documents here. Select ID. You can select which document you're uploading. Enter the ID. This is my date of birth proof, my address proof and my photo ID. Now I will select the file from my local drive. and save it 
this is one of the hygiene factors uh, for any company so please do add all your IDs all your documents that are required the same way you can also add your certificates you can add your graduation certificates um, your marks cards your convocation certificates and stuff in your uh, certificate sub tab adding certificates is very similar to how you added a document in your documents tab also I can add uh, work related documents like proof of my previous employment uh, my pay slips experience letters appointment letters and stuff uh, uploading a document is very similar to what we did to upload uh, our ID proof this completes your my profile so after adding all the uh, data that is required uploading documents adding family um, uh, details my profile is complete so please make sure that you add all the information that is needed as I said this is a hygiene factor and as an employee you you have to log your attendance every day as well so now this is um, this is one of the main challenges that employees will have so credly has a simple solution for this credly has a simple solution of clocking in and clocking out every day click on the web clock in button to um, log your attendance with this your in time will be captured in credly and you can click on the same button while you're clocking out while you're leaving office you can also use this button uh, whenever you take your breaks with this your break management will also be simple and uh, you know easily captured whenever you clock in clock out a system um, also captures the location and the IP address um, IP address of your device and the location from where you've clocked in this is uh, this is where I have logged in from so this way credibly maintains the authenticity of um, your attendance logs um, now let's say you forgot to clock in or you clocked in late this might impact your salary right or um, you know your leaves uh, will be deducted as a penalty penalty penalties will definitely be implied if you're not logging in or if you're logging in late so in this case credibly gives you an option to get an approval for the late coming or uh, you know for forgetting to clock in uh, we call it regularizations whenever you apply for a regularization uh, your immediate manager will get a notification about your approval request once it uh, once it gets approved or rejected you will also get a notification about it to apply for regularizations you can just click on the monthly logs you can see uh, whenever you did not log in whenever you logged out early logged in late you can see all the data here so scroll towards your right you will have an option to apply for a regularization click on get approval Put your login time, logout time, as per uh, whatever you are regularizing this for, and mention the reason and apply uh, or send an approval request. This will directly go to your reporting manager. That's about attendance. Second important thing is to keep track of your leaves. Um, now, by just going to your leave module, you can get all your leave information you can uh, check your leave balance you can see what's the total leaves that are allowed for you to take uh, the leaves that you've applied so far and everything and uh, if you want to apply for a leave you can just click on the apply for leave button select the leave type that you want to apply for choose the from and to dates mention the reason And apply simple uh, even in this case um, your manager will get an email notification about your leave request and once he acts on it you will get a notification too stating that you know your request has been approved or rejected with a reason thirdly it is very important for you to know and understand your salary each month um, credibly payroll module will give you an option to understand everything about your salary and also to download your pay slips and to do your investment declaration uh, here if you go to the pay slip option uh, this gives an option for you to download your pay slips you can simply select the month and download pay slips from here then you, you can see your salary structure and its components as well monthly and annual values of your salary 
Credily also gives you an option to calculate your income tax uh, with its tax scheme calculator feature. For that, you will just have to add the basic details that are needed. For that, you'll select your age, your income details from all sources, um, income details from all sources and your deduction details as well. So just make sure that you fill everything right. I'm just uh, putting some value here just to demonstrate. At last, uh, in the summary tab, you can see your taxes as per both old and new slabs. Now, uh, you will have a better understanding as to which slab will be more beneficial for you. And you can also add your investment declarations uh, here. After, you know, selecting your tax slab, you can uh, add your investment declarations. Uh, see, this is really subjective, but please enter all the details as per the investment uh, that you have done. And once all the de details are added, you will get an option to submit your investment declaration. Then you were, your HR will get an uh, option to approve your investment declarations. And accordingly, your income tax will be calculated. So that's, that's a process. So you can reach out to us or you can reach out to your administrator if you have to know more about it. As I told, it is subjective, so I'm not uh, talking about that. But you can reach out to us if you want to understand that. At last, we also have another module called Credily Bazaar. So this is the module where uh, Credily will showcase a lot of fintech products. This is exclusively for uh, all the users of Credily. Uh, here we have multiple products like insurance, credit cards, uh, instant cash, salary advance, um, loans, and many other things. Uh, we provide insurance uh, where we are partnered with Religare to provide insurance. Uh, Credily provides uh, group uh, insurance, hospital cash insurance, to all employees associated with Credly, rather all users who are associated with Credly, and uh, the price and benefits that uh, you get by purchasing an insurance through Credly will be better than what is provided by the insurance provider directly. Uh, so what I'm trying to tell you is, you get more benefits, maybe a better price for the insurance if you're buying something through Credly, and uh, we also have instant cash where. Uh, we offer 20% of uh, salary as a loan to uh, all employees or all users associated with Credly. Uh, and the best part is, uh, uh, you know, the loan for this loan, we don't charge any interest or we don't charge any processing fee on it. If the repayment is done on time, a limit increases month on month as well. So if it is 20% this month, it, it will increase maybe to 30% next month if you're paying it on time. So this is a very useful option for all the users of Credily, um, especially when you're somebody who would like to take some extra cash uh, without paying any interest on it. Um, you know, this is a very useful uh, feature, I believe. So we have other modules, sorry, uh, we have other options as well, uh, where you can apply for a credit card, you can apply for a loan. Uh, we will have multiple banks providing uh, loans at a very lesser interest rate. Uh, we have a lot of banks who are going to provide you credit cards for a better uh, and exclusive offers for users of Credily. Again, like I said, this is very subjective, uh, depends on your uh, Sybil, depends on a lot of other factors. But I, what I would tell you is uh, definitely take a look uh, at Credily Bazaar. Uh, maybe you can check on Credily Bazaar every day because we are going to introduce a lot of new uh, fintech products in Credily Bazaar uh, maybe every couple days. That's pretty much everything about uh, uh, this webinar, uh, guys. If you have any questions, I will take your questions now. Uh, if you have any questions about the product, uh, if you have any questions about Credily Bazaar, if you're looking out for some uh, loan or in uh, insurance, or if you are looking out for some credit card, you can ask me or you can leave your phone numbers. I will call you uh, personally. We can have a discussion. Well, that's about the whole webinar, uh, uh, guys. Thank you so much for joining this webinar today. You can always contact us uh, on the support number. Uh, and uh, if you have anything to be changed, um, you can always contact your administrators as well. And uh, we will meet you in the next webinar. Thank you all so much for joining. Take care. Stay safe.